The country's leading attraction dedicated to guarding Papua New Guinea's unique wildlife and flora, the Port Mosby Nature Park hosted a plant sale to garner support in their continued efforts to conserve, protect and educate children and communities about the country's wildlife. The charity organization, like many others affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, is heavily supported by partners, sponsors and supporters. Commercial activities like the plant sale not only encourages sales but also park visitation. Plant sale on the weekend, we do two of those per year. It's been going well, it's been consistent, uh, same figures as last year, same numbers as last year pretty much, but all those contributions and uh, plant sales go to our wildlife fund and to the conservation of all of our animals and everything here. The Nature Park is an accredited facility through the Zoo Aquarium Association, ZAA, and operates at the highest welfare standards worldwide for animals in their care and provides the opportunity to teach others through their education programs run during the school year and holiday programs. Nature Park announced recently that they're up against some of the biggest zoos in Australia and New Zealand in the ZAA Awards. A fantastic, it's outstanding recognition in all of Asia Pacific that we've been uh, put up against Melbourne Zoo, Sydney Zoo, um, all the big parks in Australia and New Zealand to get a finalist in three of the awards. Uh, it's a huge credibility to all the staff that have been here, to Brett, Michelle, the team that look after all the wildlife animals and the conservation effort they put in, in Papua New Guinea. It's outstanding for us and hopefully we go on and finalist and win those categories. The Port Mosby Nature Park continues to leave its gates open to the public following strict COVID-19 protocols. Mary Silla Kelaton, TV1 News.